Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm getting ready for the day using a full face of Le Beige from Chanel, including some of the new pieces that just launched this summer, and I integrated some of my favorite Le Beige products. So if you would like to hear my thoughts and see how I created today's makeup look, just keep watching. The first Le Beige product I'm going to apply today is the Le Beige Sheer Healthy Glow Highlighting Fluid in the shade Pearly Glow. I love these liquid illuminators. There's Pearly Glow, which is a nice creamy sand, and Sunkist, which is more of a golden bronze. They also have the LeBlanc Rosy Light Drops. It's not technically a Le Beige product, but it's another liquid illuminator. It's very pretty. I love it because it's incredibly versatile. So you can use this as a primer, which is what we're gonna do today underneath foundation. You can also mix it directly into your foundation for a nice subtle glow all over the face. That works really nice with a matte foundation. You can also mix it into your concealer, which is one of my favorite little glowy makeup hacks. Or you can just dab it directly on top of your foundation as a highlighter, sort of the last step. You can also apply it to your shoulders, neck, chest, decollete, anywhere you want a soft, subtle sheen. I'm starting in the center points of the face and then I'm going to blend out. I'm using the same brush I'm going to use for foundation. It's the BK Beauty 101 brush. Out of all of my liquid illuminators, and I have several, the Chanel is just the best in my opinion. And what's great about these is that it doesn't have an oily consistency, so it gives you glow, luminosity, without feeling heavy or feeling like you're adding oil to your face. For somebody with combination skin, oily skin, you can still use these drops, and it will work beautifully. I'm using the Intense Eyeshadow Palette today, and since Le Beige is always the summer collection, I want today's look to be very bronze, glowy, kind of fresh summer vacation makeup. That's the inspiration. Next, I'm going in with my Le Beige Healthy Glow Foundation for hydration and long wear. They reformulated the Le Beige Foundation last year, and I prefer this new formula. It's really beautiful. I wear shade B30 in all of my Chanel foundations. Again, I'm going to blend that out with the BK 101. The reason I prefer this new formula is that the shade range is better. I find that it's not really heavy, but it is hydrating and long wearing. The original Le Beige foundation had a pretty matte finish, which is nice, it's not bad. I don't dislike a matte finish, but it was almost too matte and I think the Ultra Latint foundation is the best matte foundation from Chanel so it just became redundant once they reformulated the Ultra Latint. I also really like the Le Beige Tinted Moisturizer and the Water Fresh Tint. Both of those are beautiful. They're lighter weight so they're better for days that you're doing um, no makeup makeup or minimal makeup look which I don't think would pair nicely with the Intense Eyeshadow Palette which is as the name suggests, more intense. So that's why I wanted to do a little bit more coverage today, but I do plan on sharing some five minute face tutorials very soon. I'm going in now with my corrector de Chanel and I'm using the Rose Color Corrector as opposed to my shade 10 concealer. This acts as a concealer for me because it's light enough. In fact, it's even lighter than the shade 10 that I'm used to, but it has a very slight rose undertone which I prefer underneath the eye because it helps to color correct darkness and blue tones as well. I really like the Chanel concealer. I have a few concealers open right now that I want to finish before I replace my old corrector in the shade 10. But for now, I'm really liking this rose color corrector. It adds a bit more brightness, which I really like. Before I set my face, I have one more cream product to apply. This is the Le Beige Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. I have the original shade 390 and the brand new shade 395. When I did my Le Beige collection review, somebody recommended that I should try mixing the two shades together, which is not ideal. Nobody wants to have to buy two bronzers, especially at $50 each, but I'm kind of curious. So now I'm going to try it. I'm gonna mix these two shades together. The original 390 is a little bit too light, the 395 is a little bit too deep. It's nice because you can sheer it out, which I discovered in my review, or you can build it up to be more intense. 
I'm using the Marc Jacobs Face 2 brush. I don't know if this is available anymore, but a great dupe is that BK Beauty 101. They're basically the same shape. I like this for foundation. I also like it for cream bronzer. So first I'm going into shade 390. I want the bulk of the bronzer I apply to be this lighter shade. And then right before I apply, I'm just going to dab it a couple times in this deeper shade. It looks really nice. I'm not sure I picked up a lot of the 395, but it looks really pretty. There we go. I got a little bit more of the 395. Ooh, I like it. The combination, it works really nicely. The 395 has a redder undertone, whereas the 390 is a bit more tan beigey. So the combination of the two looks really pretty. I always like to go back with either my concealer brush or my foundation brush and just make sure the bronzer looks nice and blended. Today I'm using my limited edition Chanel Compact and I have the shade N10. The Le Beige Compact Powder is a classic staple item from Chanel. I remember these being considered one of the go-to Chanel items when I first started working at the Chanel counter years and years and years ago, so these have been around for a really long time. The powder is perfect for setting your makeup because they don't have a lot of coverage. In fact, they're considered to be ultra sheer. Because they're ultra sheer, you have to be very careful. If you apply a damp brush, sponge, powder puff, anything like that into the pan itself, it can create that hard crust right on top of the powder, and that's from moisture. It's almost unavoidable. It's incredibly frustrating because sometimes you almost have to scrape that top part off and it feels like you're losing product. But my best advice would be to just make sure you go in with a very clean brush. And if you have a lot of dewiness on your face, like if you go in with a very luminous foundation, you might not realize it, but when you touch your face, the brush is going to pick up the oils from the foundation. So just make sure you go in with a really fluffy, very dry brush, sponge, puff, applicator, whatever you're using. That will help minimize the crust from forming. And then very quickly, I'm going to dust just a teeny tiny bit of this Le Beige Healthy Glow Illuminating Powder in the shade Sunset on the outside of my face. Since I'm trying to keep today's look very warm and bronzy, I'm going in with the Blush Duo Tweed Effect Blush in the shade 140 Tweed Beige. I'm not sure if this is still available, but there are several other beige blushes from Chanel that would be a great option. So if I can't find this, I will link something similar. I'm also going to dust a little bit right on the center of my nose. I pulled out another blast from the past. This is my Lion de Chanel highlighter. I think this might still be available as well. It's very similar to the new Pearls de Lumiere, but it's this really pretty antique gold. So this will look really nice with our overall bronze look. I've made it a goal of mine to use up at least one of my Chanel highlighters because I have so many and they're beautiful. I find myself saving certain ones. So it's about time I use them and use them up. I don't care what I have to do, how much I have to apply. It's really pretty though.
We're done with the face, so I'm moving on now to eyes. Before I pick up that intense eyeshadow palette, I'm going to go back into the Sunset Healthy Glow Illuminating Powder really quickly with a fluffy brush, and I am going to dust this in the crease. You can absolutely skip this step and just go right in with the eyeshadow, which is what I did during my initial Le Beige review, but I think this will help make the look more cohesive overall since I did dust a little bit of this on the face. I always like to start with a little bronzer in the crease, not because I have to, but because I want to. I just think it makes the look nicer overall. Anytime you can tie in colors from the face to the eyes, I think it just looks more visually pleasing. Now I've picked up a Refer 28 brush, any flat brush will do, and I'm starting up at the top in this really pretty light champagne gold. I think this is my favorite eyeshadow in the palette. It just looks so pretty. I'm going to begin by applying that on the inner lid. Another goal of mine for the year is to finish an entire Chanel eyeshadow quad. Or Quint, doesn't matter. I think it'll probably be easier to finish the quad versus the quint, but I just want to be able to say I went through an entire eyeshadow palette. I have such a huge collection and I hate decluttering them because it just feels so wasteful. I can see myself using up this entire intense palette, maybe not this year, but by next year I would imagine because these are very wearable colors, these are the colors I usually wear. Now I've picked up a BK Beauty 207 brush and I'm going into the deepest shade in the palette right here. And I am going to stipple that in the outer V. With a compact eyeshadow brush, I'm picking up this really pretty chocolatey shade right here, and I'm going to use that to gently blend out that deeper shade. Picking up the same flat brush as before, I'm going down into this really pretty golden shade right here. And I'm going to use this eyeshadow to help blend the inner light shade and the outer deeper shades. Now with the pencil brush, I'm picking up this khaki shade right here. It's the only shade we haven't used yet. And I'm going to very gently buff that beneath the lower lash line. It's going on pretty dark, so I'm actually only going to keep this on the outer half of the lash line. I'm not going to take it all of the way in. Only about halfway. I just wiped off the brush and next I'm picking up this golden shade down here and I'm going to align that underneath the lower lash line on the inner lash line. Very pretty. I quickly filled in my eyebrows using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and the Anastasia Brow Freeze. And next I'm going to do eyeliner. It makes sense to use a bronze. I know I've been using this a lot lately, but this is the Marc Jacobs Metallic Liquid Gel Eyeliner in the shade Blitzcoin. 
This has replaced my black liquid eyeliner, so I'm just going to do an outer wing and then I'm going to extend a very teeny tiny inner wing as well. I think I have one more application left of my beloved Brune Agape eyeliner from Chanel. Pretty, just completes the look. Next, I'm going to top my lashes with the Gucci mascara. This is what I've been using lately. I really like it, it's great for separation. And you can build up volume if you really want to, but the brush is awesome for separating lashes. For lipstick, I'm going to spare you watching me apply Timeless Beige for the millionth time. Instead, I grabbed another nude. This is the Rouge Coco Bloom shade 110 Chance. It's very pretty. It's this nice, warm, nudie pink. Hmm. I actually think Timeless Beige would look prettier with the makeup look. I didn't love that lipstick with the eye look. I think I found a better combination. So this is the Rouge Allure Lac in the shade 62 still. And I'm going to top that off with the Rouge Allure Lac shade 60 in Flexible, which has a really light gold sheen to it. Now I'm going to dab a little bit of shade 60 in Flexible right on top. That is pretty. So this is more of a light shimmery nude. My makeup look is now complete using all of my Lay Beige products from Chanel, and overall I'm very happy with the way it turned out. I'm sure I will be recreating this look and tweaking it all summer long. So that completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned, everything on my face, down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.